Want a shot form that's extremely hard for that defender to stop? Want more goals, even if they're not the most beautiful goals in the world? Well then, stick around for how to shoot in soccer with the toe poke. Hello, for meeting for the first time, I'm Dylan Joseph, soccer trainer and number one best-selling Amazon Understand Soccer book series author at understandsoccer.com and I've been training tens of thousands of soccer players for well over a decade. The Understand Soccer channel commitment is to post one video weekly demonstrating the skills that a soccer player needs and exactly what situations to use those skills as well as how to practice those skills all in an effort to build your soccer confidence. So if you want to build your soccer confidence and increase that skill set, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to join the soccer squad and to ensure you don't miss out on any future videos. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video for a pro tip on just how wrong so many people are with kicking with their toes. Honestly, it'll probably make you laugh, made me laugh. So what skill are we covering today? How to shoot in soccer with your toes. So, as a background on kicking with your toes in soccer, generally most soccer players when they start playing soccer, they instinctively kick that ball with their toes. Granted, they don't know any better to shoot with that driven form, I get that, but so many players and coaches are quick to tell other players, no, you can't shoot like that. In fact, I've had tons of trainees over the years make fun of other trainees that have shot with their toes and so conditioned, so in a deep belief that shooting with their toes is bad that they're confident enough to try to tease someone else about it. So we're gonna dispel that myth here today. So that first instance that actually taught me shooting with your toes is okay is when I was watching some YouTube highlight reel videos of Ronaldinho. Yes, I was supposed to be doing my homework at the time and I was procrastinating that. Guys don't do that, girls don't do that. But when I was watching, one of the things, honestly the only thing that from that entire reel that stood out and that I remember to this day is watching Ronaldinho stand at the top of the 18 yard box and he's waiting, he's looking, first players to make a run, the defender standing just like this, being like, all right, I got Ronaldinho shut down, he's not moving, he's not gonna shoot. And sure enough, he strikes a shot around the defender using his toes. The ball goes in, the crowd goes wild. Did the goal count? Yes, he scored, it doesn't matter how the ball goes goes in as long as it goes in by the rules. You're not using your hands. If you use your toes and then it goes in, great, outstanding. So kicking with your toes allows you to extend your legs so that you can take more shots. Most shots require you to plant past or next to the ball, which limits the reach of your leg. Whereas because you can extend your leg in front of you, it gives you much more reach to be able to strike the ball. Notice in this image how the attacker is able to reach further for the ball in order to strike it, which does not allow enough time for the defender to stop him. So that really first thing that really shifted my mindset and allowing the toe poke, that toe blow, to be appropriate in a game was during a scrimmage against another team in my club. We were playing, we're talking 8v8, and during the middle of the game, the coach actually pulls the player out and starts to go over with him along the side by the goal so I could hear, because I was playing against him, and the coach said, hey, when you're that close to the net, it isn't so much important how you get the shot off. If you get the shot off, that's the most important thing. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should be taking your your penalty kicks or your free kicks with your toes, but if the only way you can reach for the ball and get it is with your toes, a shot is better than no shot. The team that takes 30 shots is probably going to score more goals than the team that takes four. So in that comment section below, comment yes if you've ever scored with your toes. Otherwise, comment no if you're always taught that you're not supposed to shoot that way. Now, the cool thing with that toe poke, that toe blow, striking it with our toes, is that notice, my leg is going from here to here. You don't need a huge wind up like a driven shot or even like a pass shot. You're literally just extending your legs, striking that ball with your toes, which is actually a hard portion generally of your foot. Those toes are solid so that you can get a lot of power and only a little bit of a wind up. So it's very difficult for that defender to be able to recognize that with enough time to jump in front of your shot in order to stop it. So when we go to actually strike that ball, we don't want to hit it square in the middle unless we want to keep that ball on the ground. We actually want to come underneath it a little bit, not to where we're trying to chip the ball, but we're still striking it with those toes, but we want to get a little bit of power on it. We need a little bit of height so that when it travels towards the keeper, it's going to have a chance of going in. 
As the last example, it was a handful of years ago that I was watching the El Clasico between the world's two largest soccer clubs, Barcelona and Real Madrid. The game ended in a draw because of Cristiano Ronaldo's goal. The average soccer fan watching simply saw that the ball went in the net. However, on closer inspection of the goal, the ball was played a little too far in front of Cristiano Ronaldo for him to shoot any other way than to use a toe poke slash toe blow. This example points out that you can extend your leg farther in front of you to reach the ball by using your toes to kick the ball, which means that you can reach further out and allow yourself to take more shots over your career when you understand that using your toe to shoot is acceptable. Keep in mind that when you're within 10 yards of the net, you do not need the most accurate shots because the goalie is not going to have a lot of time to react. Make sure that you take a shot to test the keeper to increase your chances of scoring and ultimately winning the game. So that first thing you want to avoid with doing that toe blow, that toe poke, is generally avoid this altogether. In most instances in a game, I'm talking 95% of your shots at least should be driven, should be pass shots, should be higher probability shots because you have time and space to use it. But this is an appropriate shot to use if this is the only option you have. The defender's been covering you all game and you got an opportunity to pop one by them. Great. It's the only way you're going to be able to strike and maybe someone's making a clearance into the box and you're just trying to get a touch on the ball. Great. Awesome. A shot is better than no shot. And that second thing that you want to avoid is avoid just learning this skill so you don't have to use your opposite foot. If you can strike it with your toe, it can compensate a little bit for using that opposite foot, but a lot of coaches, a lot of other players on your team aren't going to appreciate that, aren't going to like that, and you're not going to be very accurate with it. So you've got to be able to learn that opposite foot. Notice what I'm doing here. I'm beginning with the ball stop to practice my steps and form to become more comfortable in shooting with my toes. I wouldn't recommend spending time practicing shooting with your opposite foot toes. I am approaching the ball from directly behind it. Because I'm not really bending at the hip, this shot is very quick from start to finish to shoot. Notice how I'm reaching for the ball when it is stopped because it is more game-like and how, as I'm dribbling, I have a very quick shot by just bending at the knee. As a reminder, stick around to the end of this video for a pro tip that you've been waiting for. Soccer squad, since we're talking about shooting and finishing in this video, this is in the second layer of the individual soccer player's pyramid. As a soccer player, start with passing and receiving because every soccer player needs that. Then move to the second layer of the pyramid. You will have a selection to make here. My recommendation is that if you're a defender, then go to the defending section first and grab that book. If you're a midfielder, focus on dribbling and foot skills first. However, if you're a forward or striker, then go to shooting and finishing first. I really care about you and want to provide you as much value as possible. I want you to be able to be confident anytime you're close to the net in order to score an insane amount of goals. If you want to learn more about different ways to shoot as well as how to excel in the 1v1, the 2v1, the 2v2, and the 1v2, then grab the second book in the Understand Soccer series, Soccer Shooting and Finishing, today on Amazon.com using the link in the description below. This book is available in paperback, audiobook, and ebook and makes a terrific gift. And if you use the link in the description below for the audiobook to sign up with Audible, you can listen to this book for free by creating a new account. For the pro tip you've been waiting for, here's an image of one of the first search results in Google about kicking with your toes. It states that the toe kick is a common issue and that it needs to be cured. Obviously, this is not the way you want to take most shots, which is using the driven shot, which is a much better way to shoot. However, Google and WikiHow are making it sound like it is a disease that needs to be cured which is laughable because as long as the ball goes in, it does not matter how flashy the goal was. A goal is a goal. If you had CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo 7, and Ronaldinho scoring using toe pokes, then is it okay for you in your local league or for your club team or your high school, even a college, to score with your toes? Yeah, you better believe it. If the best people in the world are doing it, then you can too. So, Soccer Squad, let me know in the comment section below if you have any feedback on how I can make these videos better for you, or if you have any suggestions on videos and topics you'd love me to cover in the future. So, Soccer Squad, if you got any value from this video, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to ensure that you don't miss any future videos. Also, if you could, share it with one person that could actually use this bit of wisdom and advice on why shooting with their toes is okay. Not in all circumstances, but when it's the only option, a shot is better than no shot.
Also, you don't want to miss that next video on how to consistently win in 1v1s. So if you haven't watched that video on how to shoot consistently with the outside of your foot, that Trivella, also known as the Charisma shooting style, then make sure to click here. All right, soccer squad, if you're getting value from this channel, comment yes if you've ever scored with your toes, or comment no because you've always been told not to. And if you could, follow me on Instagram at understandsoccer if you like fun soccer facts as well as soccer memes.